gosh. I hope, oh my gosh. Am I going to be hiccuping? The whole time! Ah! I mean, you can't record if you're hiccuping. I feel like I can record. Okay, let's start. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, and I'm trying not to hiccup right now. And in today's video, we are doing a product review, and it's all about Talia Wajid. Talia Wajid. So this is the Talia Wajid, and I hope that's how you say the name. Green Apple and Aloe Curl Definer. So in the front, it says more defined curls, fortified with vitamins and proteins. This is a styling cream that gives instant curl definition with minimal manipulation for fine to coarse thick hair types. The need for next day restyling is reduced. Hair remains soft and there's no buildup. Strong hair is soft, shiny, voluminous, and moisturized. I, I hope that the claims are true, okay? I want my hair to be soft, shiny, voluminous, and moisturized. I too want that. My hair is clearly wet because it's already getting on my shirt. It's starting to look like polka dots. So it says directions can be used on wet or dry hair. For wet hair, towel dry and separate hair into sections. Apply product to one second at a time for best results. Be sure to cover strands with the green apple curl definer. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It says for dry hair, use same instructions as wet. Omit towel use. So that's funny. Okay. So this is how the product looks. It's on the thicker side. Yes, it really is on the thicker side. Oh my gosh. This kind of feels pasty. This has like the same consistency of like the Talia Widget Curly Curl Cream because it feels like a paste. Wow, that smells like straight up green apples. Yeah, it smells like apples. But this is like... Let's see how it is on the wet hair. Okay, it's going through nicely. Okay, so this is how it looks with the product in my hair, and this is clearly without. I was not expecting the texture at all like this. This is like on the paste side. And you know, I really like the Talia Widget Curly Curl Cream. Don't get me wrong, like I like that product a lot. I, I love that product. But as a refresher, not a refresher, but to push my bangs back, I don't really use it for all around my hair. So, I don't know, let's hope that this is going to be good because with the consistency, I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know. In this line, they had like a gel. So maybe I can try that out next. Maybe. I don't know. But I got this curl definer because I was like, oh, okay, it should be good. And I hope it is. I hope it is. But this this consistency is like, whoa. Mm. So what's up, Anthony? What did you, you do today? Tell us about your day. <laughs> mm, woke up, no work today, felt weird, uh, brought your, what are, what are these called? Picture frames. Picture frames, yeah, I went to Walmart on a mission to get you some picture frames because the other Walmart, they're all broken. That's true. All of them were broken. Oh, so carrying off with my last video, um, if you saw my floor crawl, I mentioned how Sam's was playing us about picture frames delivery. Sam's? Oh. Sam's Club. You know. Yeah, yeah. We got the picture frames from Sam's. We had to call them because they said they were going to email us when the picture frames, when the the, pictures. the picture print got there. They never emailed us. We were supposed to get there Saturday. And then we oh. called on Saturday. They said it never came. And then we called on Monday. And no, I called the 1-800 number for Sam's Club on Monday. And they were like, oh yeah, I got there already. They're like, oh, did you get an email? Yeah, they're like, did you get an email? I'm like, no, but it's supposed to be there. And they're like, okay, let me check. And they're like, oh, it's supposed to be there already. And then I called the Sam's Club store number, and then they was on hold forever. And then I got a manager, and the manager was like, oh, let me check. Did you get an email? I'm like, oh no, gosh. I didn't get an email, but I was told it's there already. And he's like, oh, you should have got an email. I'm like, well, I was told it's there already. And he's like, okay, let me check. He checks, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's here already. And then he's like, yeah, you could pick it up whenever. I'm like... Well, aren't you guys supposed to email me? Where's that email you can Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. About it. It's probably in your spam. Anyways. And then, there was still no email when I finally went on Thursday to pick it up. Wow, Anthony. No email at all. Disrespect. Disrespect. And then when I got there... But wait, there's more. Yes, I had to wait 20 minutes for them to really? go to the back of receiving to get it. I and know. I asked the lady at the front door, Oh, where can I do photo pickup? She's like, oh, go to jewelry. I'm like, jewelry for photo pickup? As an old lady. She's like, yeah, go to jewelry. I'm like, but I'm picking up a photo. She's like, go to jewelry. And jewelry. So she, said, she said, get out of my face. Yeah. And then jewelry is literally just jewelry, and there's not even a person there. Oh. 
but I didn't go to jewelry. Anthony said, forget that I'm going to bakery, I'm gonna get a croissant, and they're gonna give me my photo. Yeah. So then I went to the front desk, right next to the old lady that said I should go to jewelry. And the, the, the what do we call this? Customer service was like, yeah, you pick it up here. I'm like, this old lady. Uh, that would make sense, customer service. No, yeah. But I'm like, I wasn't, I ignored what the old lady said anyway. That's, that's my uh, TED talk. <laughs> So that's what Anthony's been up to. <laughs> You're welcome. Me, I was, I'm, I'm done anyways. I was going to tell you about my day, but I'm already done styling my hair. So last day of work. Today was my last day at one department, and I'm going to start a new position on Monday, and I was in my feels today. I teared up at work saying bye to people, and I teared up because... They teared up. They teared up. No, but I, I'm going to miss them. Anyways, this is pretty much all I'm going to apply to my hair right now. So far, I, I like the way it looks. I think it looks pretty nice right now. So I'm going to go ahead, let it air dry, and then I'll come back for the first impression. So, peace. I'll be back. So my hair is completely air dried at the moment, so... Is it? It's not. It's not. I don't know why I said that. It's still a little bit damp in the back. Yeah, I want to give you guys my first impression, which is that this product has absolutely no hold. I don't know if you can tell, like my hair, it, it my hair looks good, but there's absolutely no hold with this product. It's looking a little bit frizzy. It got some volume to it, so I like that, but I'm kind of worried about how it's going to look tomorrow. I feel like if the humidity is high tomorrow, my hair's going to automatically look kind of, it's going to look a little bit bigger, and I'm not too sure if it's going to be long-lasting. But this is my first impression. Quick and to the point, quick and to the point. That's my first impression, so I'll see you guys for day two. Day two, guys. So I'm going to go over the claims of this product and then my hair checklist of things that I look for in a hair product. So let's start. What are the claims? Because I always forget. What did it say? Okay, the styling cream gives instant curl definition with minimal manipulation for fine to coarse thick hair. Um, the need for next day restyling is reduced. Hair remains soft and there is no buildup. So... Definition wise, um, yes, my curls are defined for day two hair. It's really voluminous, but as you can see, as you can see, my hair is defined, so yes, it did do that. Create longer lasting, more defined curls. Mmm, long lasting. I don't know about that. Day three, if that, because I know that it's really humid outside, so if I go outside, it's going to automatically get really frizzy. Day three, like I said, if that, but day four, I don't think I can get to that just because with this product, there is no hold, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be long-lasting. Hair remains soft. Yeah, my hair is soft because there's absolutely no hold with this product. And there's no buildup. I'm not noticing any buildup. So those are the claims of this product. Now let's get into more details with my hair checklist. So starting with ingredients. So in the back, it says right here that it's paraben-free, sulfate-free. And this is what the ingredient list is looking like. So no parabens, mineral oils, alcohol, or gluten. And then price-wise, I bought this at a beauty supply store for $10.99, but I also saw they have it at Sally Beauty for the same price, so you can find it in stores. And then now let's talk about hydration. So for day two hair, my hair doesn't feel dry, but this is not the most moisturizing product. Like my hair feels soft, but some parts feel a little bit dry, so what I would recommend is you can definitely pair this off with like a lightweight leave-in as a base, and then you can apply this on top. Just because the texture of it, I feel like it would seal everything in because it's more pasty so my hair doesn't feel dry but I would definitely use something else I wouldn't use it by itself next time next is how did it make my hair feel and how was it reapplying it now this product it was easy to glide in my hair I didn't notice anything difficult and when I did reapply more this morning I applied water in my hand and I felt a little bit of the product still so I was able to work with that and then I applied more of this cream I'm not noticing any buildup and my hair isn't looking pretty flat and I did apply a good amount to take care of some of the frizziness so yeah, reapplying it wasn't difficult at all and yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't. I feel like I need to be happy in this review. I'm really sleepy, so that's why I'm like, ugh, okay, but let's, let's keep it positive, man. Okay, next is curl, so next is curl definition and is a long lasting. So right now my curls are defined, so I do like that. I don't think it's going to be long lasting just because this product has absolutely no hold and I saw yesterday as it was drying. It was more on the frizzier side. I'm glad that for day two hair, my hair got some more volume to it and the frizziness looks good for day two. But um, day three, I could probably get two, but day four, I don't think so whatsoever. 
but you can always pair this off with like a gel if you're looking for like long lasting definition. This is how my hair is looking day three using this product right here. Now my hair looks nice right now, but let me show you guys how my hair looked as soon as I took it out of my hair bonnet because I sleep with the sound scarf. A satin scarf, not a hair bonnet. I sleep with a scarf. So when I took it out of my scarf, as you can see in these clips right here, it was very frizzy. So my front area was very frizzy. So what I do appreciate about this product is that I'm able to touch up and it kind of clumps the curls back together. So that's why my hair isn't looking that frizzy in the front right here. Now all around, I don't think I would use this product as like an initial base all around my hair. I, I'm going to use this kind of like my Talia Wajid and like to push my bangs back and to kind of put together some of the frizzy pieces. I use it as that but like as a all around like one and done styler. I don't think I would do that just because of the texture of it. I don't find it moisturizing on my hair. My hair doesn't feel dry but I mean it doesn't feel that moisturized right now. I might wash my hair later today so that I can wear my hair. What am I going to do? <laughs> I think I'm going to wash my hair later today so that I can wear it tomorrow regularly down or I might just put my hair up in a bun tomorrow and wash my hair tomorrow so I don't know but I just know that I need to wash my hair I'm gonna wear my hair up because tomorrow I think it's gonna look really frizzy it doesn't look bad right now it's a lot of volume but yeah oh one thing I do want to mention I wrote this down because Anthony said something yesterday and I want to get it right Anthony said if you want quick poofy hair I mean voluminous hair then this is the way to go it looks nice though it looks nice I'll give it that like my hair does look nice but I just know that it's not going to be long lasting for me and it doesn't feel super moisturized. Um, but that's pretty much what I want to say this third day hair pop in. I'm going to continue with the video so yes let's continue with the video. The last thing I would do want to mention about this product is the scent of it. Like it smells like green apples but it smells like something else. It smells like apples. It does smell like apples but like when you first smell it. But it smells like a not just straight out like a perfume floral. Yeah, like it smells floral apples. I don't know. Like flowery. Yeah, kind of. It's not bad. I don't think it lingers on the hair. Let me check that. No, I don't smell it on my hair, so it's not super strong. But that's pretty much all I wanted to mention about this product right here. I really wanted to go over the claims of it, the ingredient list, show you the texture of it, because that's the one thing that really surprised me about this product. The texture. I was expecting more of like Maybe like more creaminess to it, but I'm not mad at the texture. I just have to like work around with it next time. I wouldn't really use it by itself because it's not really moisturizing. So I'll pair it off with like maybe like the Floral Curl Curl Activating Lotion just because that's more on the thinner side. So I might pair those two together. I know they have a gel to this line. So if you have tried it out, let me know what you think. I might do a review on it next. I might not. I'm not really sure, but let me know what other products you have tried from this brand right here. And I hope that I said it right the first time. I hope I said it right. Talia Wajid. I know, man. I hope I said it right. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.